Since Derek Bird's shooting rampage, the question has been asked over and over again. What turned an apparently normal man into a crazed killer? But a picture of his life is emerging, giving an insight into the troubles that shaped his personality. Three years ago, he'd been beaten up by a non-paying customer. Criminologists say that trauma may have left him unable to deal with stress. Fellow cab driver John McDonald found him lying on the ground in a pool of blood after the attack. He'd been hit in the face, his teeth knocked out, and when he had gone down, he'd smashed all his skull on the pavement. There was a big gash in the back of his head. Uh, I immediately dialed 999, got an ambulance and police. He'd started drinking a bit more, and I noticed on Friday gone, Derek, uh, he didn't work on a Friday, and he was bouncing off all the walls in the town. He was drunk, and that wasn't Derek. And I spoke to him on Monday, and he, he said, you know, he said that there's a few of the people on the rank uh, sort of winding him up and that. And, you know, the guy could have done without it. It's also emerged there was a family row over a will, although that's been denied by the family of his brother, David Bird, who was one of Derek's first victims. It's also thought Derek was worried by unpaid taxes, something he confided to fellow cabbie Mark Cooper. Well, he had £60,000 in the bank and he said the tax man had found it and they were investigating him. And uh, his fear was, he thought, I don't know why, he was going to go out of prison already. In context of what he went on to do, Derek Bird's worries seem fairly low level and that only adds to the feeling of disbelief and heartache endured by so many here.